they called it white gold. Hey guys, what's going on? It's me Tom here and welcome back to another first look and today we are going to be covering Narcos Rise of Cartels which is, as you can imagine, based on a particular Netflix series. Now I'm not entirely sure which seasons the game covers, I believe from what I can tell it's definitely season 1, I'm not sure if it goes into season 2. But this is an XCOM style tactical game and we are going to be playing around the first 10-15 minutes. We're going to be playing the first 10-15 minutes and just kind of getting into the game itself essentially. So skip the cutscene and here we go, there we go, Narcos Rise of the Cartels. And I believe you can play from two perspectives. I have actually, yeah, so you can see here, get the two perspectives. I've actually played this game, I played this game at EGX this year, um, and I quite enjoyed the very limited amount of time I played of it. So I'm quite excited to produce a full review on it and really see if it's up to scratch, because I'm a big fan of strategy games myself. So I guess we'll see if this one is worth playing. There's I've reviewed quite a few and there's a lot of them. There's a lot of good ones on the Switch to be fair, but there's very few outstanding ones, especially in the turn-based kind of area. Obviously there's the obvious Mario and Rabbids, but indie-wise it's a bit less um it's a bit less of a saturated scene. I think we're going to get straight into things here and Yeah, this is this is the level I've played. I played this level at EGX. So we should be able to get through this quite quickly. Although I did play this on an Xbox controller, so I made quite a few mistakes. But anyway, yeah. Here we go. Welcome to Columbia, Agent. Welcome to our water. Here we go. So we'll be using guns. We're going to be gunning people down, of course. Yeah, this is a drug war. A war on drugs. And it's going to start by us getting into this house. Right, so like I was saying, it is a turn based game, and of course, you know, it operates like any other turn based game does, except there is a bit of what I will say. I, I believe from what I played, I feel like it's a bit similar to Valkyria Chronicles in the sense that you make movements. Obviously, it isn't a free movement like in Valkyria 1, you know, 1 and 4 that are both on the Switch. Go check them out, they're both brilliant games. But you have a, some sort of free reign when it comes to shooting, which is very similar to Valkyria. But yeah, obviously we've got this fairly unique setting, to be fair. I can't say I've ever... Yeah, so we've got two units. So we've got this guy, we're going to move him down here. We've got Cortez. I'm not going to try any accents if it comes down to it, because I don't want to offend anyone. Here we go, then we'll move back to our other unit. So yeah, you move one unit per turn. And then it's just showing us how the shielding works, as you can see here. Don't know what level of shielding he has. Does he have a full shield? Don't know. But yeah, as you can see here, that shows us when we're moving our people, how covered they are. So you see, putting him behind here, he is fully covered. And obviously you have to use the cover to your advantage. So keep going. So we put him here, he's only half covered. Obviously, there's no enemies at the moment. This is very much just a tutorial stage, just to get us to go to the movement and the controls and whatnot. Anyway, let's meet up with this guy. Have a chat with him. Move both units to the rendezvous point. Uh, we have done that now. And here we go. That's the piece of... This is YouTube. We're not going to say that. Let's take him in for questioning. Yeah, if we have to kill him, we're going to kill him. Right. So what we're going to do, okay, da, 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 the attack action is now available, so we're going to move Murphy to behind this truck, and we should be able to shoot this guy from here, and then what you'll see, we'll change to shooting, if you're attacking a main consequence damage, kill shot will trigger this provides an opportunity in the shot. So yeah, what we're going to do, and as you can see, we have the ability to change weapons, and also there you go to shoot and then you get the kill shot so yeah that little bit there is very similar to Valkyria 
Um, essentially, it is just a kind of basic strategy game, but you do have that option. And you do have to uh, reload your guns, which I quite like. It's not just kind of endless supplies. This feels like a very tactical affair, which I am obviously a big fan of because it's a strategy game. So here we go. Narcos. During the enemy's turn, counteracts can trigger. Again, this is very similar to Valkyria. It allows you to attack a moving enemy. So yeah, there's a lot of things being taken from this game that are very, very similar to Valkyria Chronicles. So you can see here, he moves out. We've got the ability to counterattack. We take him down, and that saves us a job. So in order to counteract, you need to earn counteract points. They can be for kills and certain skills. The amount uh, have is limited. If you're in a turn without using, you also earn half. Uh, Okay, if contract trees and you don't fight, you just any contract points. Simple, so it's very limited in terms of how you can use them, but... Here we go, got Sanchez, he's a, he's a man on a mission, right. Some fire multiple bullets and each one can hit on this. So yeah, this is... Uh, I am I am a big fan of this. There you go, he's dead. He is da -da dead And same, like, look here, we can do the same thing. Put a load of damage into him, and I assume he's going to try to shoot us now. But there we go, we've got the cover of the vehicle, so he's unable to get to us. So we're going to go around here, and we should be able to shoot him. Oh, oh there we go. We're going to bang a pistol into him. There you go, neutralize the targets, boom. So you can probably tell really quickly the, the style that we're going with, and it's very much there's that real time element to it, but it's mainly turn based, it's mainly, of course a turn-based strategy game and to be honest I really like it from what I played this is why I'm interested in reviewing it because it's such a decent you know from what I played it's a well-made blend of these more real-time elements as well as there he is the man in question he knows what we've been doing We've been killing his boys and now he's off. Yeah, as I was saying, it's a really nice blend of real time and, and turn based. Which I quite like. I, I do love strategy games, but I really like ones where you have that real element to them. Matt there's my partner, especially Believe it or not, Penna, aka one of my favourite one of my favourite actors. Public enemy number one love that man, El Patron. So as I was saying, this is all based on the Netflix series. So if you've watched the Netflix series, you'll know what's going to happen. But if you haven't, I guess it's quite a good entry to the Netflix series. And I luckily haven't watched it. So I guess I'm going to have fun with all this. Right. Let's skip this just for the just for the purpose of this video. I'm not normally a person who goes in skipping through every cutscene I can find, but I do want to show just a bit more gameplay before we finish things off, just to give everyone an idea of what exactly this game is. Now, this launches on the 21st. It should be the 21st by the time you're watching this, or the day before. But yeah, this comes out on the eShop, and it is really shaping up to be a fun game. Welcome to the War Room. Take a look at the map, and the Ambassador will brief you on your first mission. Right, so we've got the map here. This shows us Colombia. Welcome to Colombia, agents. We're hoping we suspect a drug cartel oh, has been so manufacturing, we suspect a drug cartel cocaine, manufacturing and cocaine, cocaine and smuggling out of the country. We need to get top. We need to recruit some, need to recruit some men. Get them. All right. Let's start right. Turning over so neutralize the target. So we've already done that one, I think. But I guess we have to do it again, perhaps. Right. So here we go. Here's how we can. So now we can't actually change who we've got, but I guess in the future we'll be able to do that. You know, customize your soldiers, customize your men, which is pretty cool. I'm always a massive fan of, you know, strategy games giving you that ability to kind of create your own, your own series of events, you know, not just locked into a set thing. That's one of the things I actually really like about Mario and Rabbids is the level of customization that game has. We need to strike back, kill them all. Burn them all. We move freely. Okay, so we've got, so we can move them uh, right to the edge of this zone. I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Um, I think that's everyone deployed. Is it? 
Oh no. Didn't even see them. That camouflage is proving very effective. Right. End deployment, let's go. So we can use Liddell. Okay. So we've got three directly in front of us. Right. All hide behind this tree. Don't know if we're going to be able to shoot him from here. I don't believe so. Oh, you've put yourself in the open there, boy. Right. We're going to go here, and we should be able to get a pretty clean shot on this guy. No. There we go. Get a bit of damage into him. Now, I've got to be honest, I do quite like the fact that it's given, it's making you, that you can't move everyone at once. I think that'll probably put some people off. But, like I was saying, I'm, I actually quite like it. Because I really think it adds a layer to the strategy. You know, you have to be incredibly careful of how you, you know, deploy people because there's no. You know, you're not going to be able to. See, we might be. This guy might be a bit screwed here, potentially. And let's see. There you go. So he's probably going to end up dead. Right there, you go. And so that you have to be very careful with how you deploy people. Because you know you don't have the ability to back everyone up. Because you can only move one person at once. All right. And apparently these soldiers can't aim like actual soldiers, so... Right, okay, how has he done three damage to me there? That is bizarre, right. Right, is, is that... Hmm. Hmm, right, we're gonna move... Move you there. We're gonna move Murphy forward, and we're gonna turn around, and we're just gonna pump him, just a pump in the head. Right. Reload the gun. He's gonna be looking to come around here. Jesus, we are getting absolutely massacred. This is not going to plan. Alright. Come on, move back. Can't exactly say I've, I've uh, put myself in a good light here. But, is he going to move forward? Right, so can we... Right, so he can't shoot us there, that's fine. But we can definitely shoot him. There we go. Right, we're going to move you back. gonna go all the way back hopefully that should be out of this guy's line of sight now I'm not gonna lie this is not really demonstrating me as very good at strategy games but I, I just need to get used to how this system works he can't shoot us from here can he no that is good all right then we're gonna move you Yeah, and then we're going to attack him. There we go. I was going to say, if, if that if that didn't kill him, that'd be a joke. So he's just going to recover. Right, well, so what we'll do, we'll send the rest of them in. Might as well let Murphy rest and uh, send Gracia. Gracia go forward. Get him down. Did we get him? Nearly. It's fine. We'll just finish him off right now. There we go. I think... Is that it? Yeah, there we go. Wiped out all the enemy threats. Now, I assume that the people who we lost will stay dead. I'd imagine. If it's a Fire Emblem kind of thing. But anyway, that's where we're going to finish things off. Just show you guys a couple of missions. The first 15 to 20 minutes of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed 
this and it's informed you perhaps more of your likely purchase stay tuned for a full review which will be coming soon thank you so much for watching again thank you for watching any of our content we aim to give the lowdown on all indie nindy content my name is tom thank you so much for watching peace out